You should do it. Your majesty. Wash. Wash. There you go. Wash. You can do it. Your majesty. Your majesty. Wash. Do it, your majesty. Didn't you tell me she had three months to go? Why is she giving birth now? For your information, her current pregnancy is inherently dangerous. The fetus has been unstable for months. The baby is premature. She is due in three months. But today, she was somewhat stimulated or induced. And the fetus developed some issues. It's unexpected. We didn't anticipate this. You didn't expect this? You didn't prepare for this? I'm warning all of you. Do whatever you need to do and whatever you can to save my wife and my son. Or else, I won't spare any of you! Understood? Yes, your majesty. One more time. One more time. Hush, your majesty. Tell us what is going on there. How is the Empress doing? Her majesty is too weak. She can't handle it. Have you sent for the Empress Dowager? Yes, your majesty. We shall tell her. Tell her grace that the Empress is giving birth in advance. All Imperial physicians have gone there. All right, understood. We shall tell her. <sighs> she was doing all right this morning. Why is she giving birth in the middle of the night? She's due to give birth three months from now. I wonder what went wrong. I heard that the Emperor has been living in Concubine Shin's palace. Is she trying to attract his attention? And try to cause a scene as she did before? Hm. She wouldn't dare cause that much trouble. Ah, <sighs> follow me. Let's see what's going on. It's quite delicate. This child is going to be my first grandchild. How unfortunate for this child to have the blood of the she. Uh, How is the Empress doing? doing? We already gave her three bowls of soup to induce labor, but it's still not doing anything. Get medicine upon prescription. Do it now. Push harder, harder. Don't bother to decoct it. Just put it directly into her mouth and let her chew the medicine. The Empress Dowager has arrived. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Mother. You have to calm down, my son. Giving birth is not easy and worrying won't help her. I experienced the same difficulty when I gave birth to you. But I understand. We're talking about your very first son. You must be scared. But I also want you to remember, my son. You should put your health before anything else. Mother, I don't think it's the same. Her suffering is a lot different. What are you trying to say? Tell me. The Empress is much more noble than I am. Do you think the son she's going to bear is much more noble than you? Your Majesty, you can do this. What's the matter? She passed out. What happened? Your oh Majesty. no! Physician! Oh, Physician Chen! Don't let her fall asleep! Her Majesty! Wake up. We can't let Her Majesty Your die! Majesty. You have to wake up. Your Majesty! Empress! <gasps> Empress! Empress! Please wake up! Empress! Your Majesty! Hold on, Empress! I know you can get through this! Your Majesty! Please wake up, Your Majesty! Just hold on! Please wake up! Push harder! Push, Your Majesty! And breathe! You can do this, Your Majesty. Please, Your Majesty. You can do this. You're almost there. You can do it. It's almost. It's almost out. You did great, Your Majesty. It's a boy. My son, you can come in. Let them take care of the baby for now. Hurry! Bring me my son now! I want to see him! Hurry! Hurry! Will you please calm down, Silong? You must behave like an emperor. Mother, 
I am a father now. I finally have a son. <laughs> Look at him. The little baby you're holding. He looks exactly like you when you were born. Let me carry him for a bit. Your Majesty, congratulations on your newborn son. The Empress is no longer in danger now, but she is so exhausted that she fell asleep. The delivery was quite risky and dangerous. But luckily, the Empress and the baby are both safe. It only shows that your newborn son is going to bring us good fortune. <gasps> yes, you're right. I sure hope so. He's my lucky baby. My dearest son will bring prosperity to us. Somebody! Your Majesty. Deliver my order. Today's a big day. Every single one of you will be rewarded. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Congratulations on the baby, Your Majesty. Congratulations on your grandchild, Your Grace. <laughs> the Empress gave birth to a baby boy? Yes. Isn't she two, three months from now? Why was it so sudden? All the Imperial physicians were at the palace to watch over her. Luckily, both the Empress and the baby are both doing well and safe from danger. That's great. Time flew by so fast. See, Long and Wanru are now parents to a newborn baby. What are you looking at? Madam Shu. Ah, yeah. Look at the sun. It's finally risen. Why aren't the Lord and Her Highness sleeping until now? I've reheated this so many times. It looks like the two of them are slowly becoming more fond of each other's presence. But then... <sighs> Madam Shu, I'll heat the food again. All right. Mm -hmm. Master, ahead of us is where the epidemic is. We should keep going. <sighs> Think about it carefully, Master. <sighs> What is the matter? I'm poor now. I have nothing left in my pockets. Is that the real reason why you can't take my orders anymore? I wouldn't dare. I've been taking your orders for all my life. I will never disrespect you. But Master, ahead of us is the epidemic area. If we get infected, even the best doctor in town won't be able to cure us. I have to go. It's something important. And my son's over there too. If I don't go to him, what else can I do to help? But... <sighs> Master, we have been walking for months. We can stop now. If the soldiers are no longer trailing us, I think we should turn back to the capital immediately. All officials assumed you were dead. The secret guards will meet us there. I think we can easily find our way. I know it. We need to plan it carefully. I'm sure we can. But what should we do after? What is the plan when we get to town? <sighs> because in the north, 
We managed to fake my own death and deceive all the assassins. Everything we do will leave a trace. And if any of them see the slightest sign of dishonesty, I am certain they will take me down. So therefore, if we go to the capital, are we setting ourselves into a trap? <sighs> but now, the flood and epidemic in Jiangnan could be a good cover. No one would suspect for me to go this direction. Don't you think so? But more than anything, I just want to see my son. I don't have much time. I have so much to say to him. Otherwise, even if I could live a meaningless life, I would rather die. Don't you worry too much. If it bothers you, just wait for me here. Wait, Master! Master! The endless rain will last another month. As far as we're concerned, we have enough staff here. And according to you, we could make use of the homeless people so we could progress faster. Yes, we could. But the rains will make it more difficult. We'll find a way. I'll discuss this with my men. Hmm. Good greetings to you, Lord Yangsha. It's you, Miss Saiwei. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Oh, take a seat. Thank you, Lord Jiangsha. Lady Saiwei, what brings you here? Huh? You see, my lord, my family is from Lingyan, Jiangnan, and my grandfather was buried here before. Our family messenger discovered months ago that my grandfather's tomb has been damaged due to the continuous rain. My brother is an official in the imperial court, but he's busy, so I decided to handle these matters myself. Oh, now I understand. I suddenly realized Mr. Gu has been dead for a while. We have been blessed. Tilu has died. But I'd rather not dwell about the past. Right. Please forgive me. But did you pay me a visit today? Because you need my help with something? Don't worry. We're friends now. It's fine with me. If you need help, I'll lend you a hand. Don't hesitate to ask. I heard you need laborers, is that right? You are right. The flooding problem is serious, and I need more people. I'm afraid we are understaffed. <laughs> huh? My family is still prestigious in Jiangnan. We have helped so many noble clans all these years. If you need their assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. They'd be willing to help. This is truly an opportune time. <laughs> you came all the way here to fix the flooding problem. You're doing it for the people. The least I could do is help you. Also, like you said, we're friends now. You helped my family before. I appreciate all that you've done for us. If you need help with laborers to stop the flooding, I would be honored to provide more people. <laughs> All right. I give you my gratitude.
Here comes Lord Yu Jang and Princess Consort Yu Jang. Greetings, Your Grace. Congratulations on your grandson. Did you lose weight? You look so thin, Awu. Lord Yu Chang, Awu looks so frail right now. You should take care of your wife. If Awu gets sick because of you, I'd be very disappointed. I promise to do better. Please don't overthink. I've always been built this way, Your Grace. Your Grace, Lord Yu Chang loves his wife. I witnessed what he said to her on their wedding day. He said he would love no one else. That's why a lot of women got jealous of her when he declared his love. That's good to know. Please be seated. Please don't cry. Calm down. Don't cry, my dear. That's enough. Everything will be okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. What's wrong with him? Why is he always crying? Uh, I don't trust any of you near me or my son. I don't need help. I don't want any of you here. Get out of here right now! Empress, Empress. please calm down. I said get out of here! Get out! What should we do with the baby now? Oh, little prince. Oh. I think we should go. Prince. Please stop crying, my dear. Calm down, calm down. Don't cry, little prince. Oh, 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 calm down. The Empress Dowager said, you're so thin. If you don't eat, I'll teach you a lesson. Understand? Fine. His Majesty has arrived! Greetings to your majesty. Awu, Lord Yu Jang, you may rise now. Stand up. Thank, Thank you, you, your majesty. majesty. You may all rise. Thank you, your majesty. Greetings to you, mother. Where's the empress and Jing? She told me she can't go because she's not well. When she feels better, she might bring Jing. Go. Invite the Empress here and let her bring the Prince. Yes. You may take a seat. Understood. Your Majesty? What is it? Why won't he stop crying? Your Majesty, we can't blame him. He's only a baby. It's not his fault. I've tried different methods, but nothing worked. I, I don't know what else to do. The Empress Dowager and His Majesty are there. And they're waiting to see him, but this annoying baby wouldn't stop crying. I don't know what on earth he wants. He almost killed me when I gave birth to him. Now all he does is cry all day and night. I don't know what to do with him. That baby just wouldn't stop. How about telling them the baby is not feeling well? Maybe we can tell them he's too sick to be there. We can't do that, Empress. Tonight's dinner was made in honor of him. It's important for him to attend. All right, then. If somebody finds out the prince is weak and ill now, it might affect his position as the crown prince. What should we do now? Your Majesty? What? What do you want from me? I don't want you here! Empress, His Majesty and the Empress Dowager must have sent someone. I'll go and check it. All right then. See who it is. Give him to me. Madam, what's going on here? The Empress and His Majesty are impatient. 
The young prince wouldn't stop crying, and the Empress doesn't know how to pacify him. But the Empress Dowager... Listen to me. You go back there and tell them the Empress will be there soon, together with the baby. All right. Stop crying! You'll drive me crazy! <sighs> Empress, it was Zhao Yun. <sighs> Empress, if you may, I do have an idea. Your wife and child hasn't arrived yet. I thought she was proud about her first child. I've invited her several times. Should I go there and invite her in person? Don't worry, Mother. I'm sure that she... The Empress and the Prince have finally arrived! Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Mother. Wanru, you may get up. Thank you, Your Majesty. I apologized for the delay I've caused. Today, the princess was quite hyper and excited and didn't want to fall asleep. He stayed awake. He might be too excited that he was going to meet you, so when he was getting dressed, he fell asleep. He suddenly got tired. That's the reason why it took a while to get here. Are you serious? Mother, it seems my firstborn is a very wise boy. I'm so glad he's doing fine. If you have nothing to worry about, then I have no reason to. Where is my son? Show me my son. I'll show the prince to them. <laughs> Mother, take a look at him. Your little grandson has rosy skin. He has the appearance of an emperor. He's such a lovely baby. <laughs> My grandson is so handsome. He reminds me of you when you were little. <laughs> Look! Look! Everyone! This is my firstborn, our prince! Congratulations, Your Majesty! <laughs> Awu! Come here! Take a look at your little nephew! Would you mind if I hold your baby? Here. Hey, your aunt is going to carry you now. Uh. <laughs> Abu, when we were younger, we used to play inside the palace. We grew up together. But now, 12 years have already passed. Wanru and I already have a son and started a family. I think you and Xiao Qi should have babies soon. It doesn't matter if you have a son or a daughter. I'm going to let your baby grow up with my son. They'd be playmates. Your Majesty, today is the feast for Jing'er. It should be about him and not me. I think His Majesty is right. You shouldn't waste any time. You should take care of yourself and have a baby soon. Shh. <laughs> 
Their baby was so adorable. The prince looks like Silong when he was younger. Did you even see him when he was a small baby? Oh, come on. Will you stop teasing me? I also want to have a child of my own. Be patient. You'll have one. I'm pretty sure we'll have a baby when you get better. Tell me, am I going to see the Imperial Physician tonight? I think you should stay at Fangqi Palace tonight. I'll pick you up in the morning. All right. And don't forget, you're not allowed to drink. Mm -hmm. Go on. Why isn't the prince awake yet? Could there be something wrong with him? I don't think so, Empress. He must be really exhausted. Listen, bring the prince to the bedroom to rest. Understood. You must be tired, too. <sighs> Since I gave birth to Jinga, I have been feeling less energetic. I nearly died giving birth to him. It's like I lost all my strength, and all he does is cry all day and all night. I feel like my body isn't the same. You're not that old. Ever since you gave birth to him, you seem to look more glowing. I honestly believe that here in the palace, no other woman can beat your beauty. What good would beauty do? The Emperor has spoiled me for many years. But I suppose only the new women are favored inside the harem. Think about how His Majesty looked at Princess Consort Yu Chang. Perhaps if she hadn't married Lord Yu Chang, His Majesty would have taken her as his woman. Madam Su, I think there's something odd about the little prince. Did you notice how red his face was earlier? What? Perhaps it was caused by the swaddling. He was hot, but he wasn't sweating at all. Your Highness, I'm sure the little prince is well taken care of, and he has a lot of guards. I don't think there's anything wrong. But when I held him earlier, the baby smelled like alcohol. Alcohol? Yes. What could be the reason? Why would he smell like that? Your Highness, please don't overthink. Well, perhaps the alcohol smell came from me. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness! Her Highness is back! Come over here! Her <laughs> Highness is back! Hurry! Let's go! Her Highness is here! <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness! Greetings, Greetings Your Highness. Highness! You may stand. Your Highness, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'll never return to Fangqi Palace or forget about Your us. Your Highness! That's impossible. Your Highness! Your Highness! You're back! Your Let's Highness, go. you're here! Greetings, Greetings Your, Your Highness. Highness! You may rise. When we heard you were back, Bishu started crying. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> Your Highness, Imperial Physician Shen is waiting outside.
I'm here. Greetings, Your Grace. No need to be formal. What brings you here tonight? Is there a problem? Oh, I heard the news about your stay at Fangqi Palace, so I decided to visit. Ah, you must be excited to try some wine, but I already brought something for you. Cheers. My dear, how long has it been since we last sat down and had a few drinks together while having a small chat? When you were a little girl, you used to enjoy my company. I was fond of drinking too. You probably learned it from me. <sighs> Back in the day, I often turned to drinking wine to drown my sorrows. Honestly, I never thought you'd come to Zhaoyang Palace and you would be drinking alcohol and possibly get intoxicated. No one noticed when you got drunk before. Until somebody pointed out you were acting quite strange. You slept until nighttime. <laughs> I was so worried about you. I do remember. I considered you as my aunt. And you would call me Awo. What are you talking about? No matter what happens, I'll always be your aunt. You're just a grown adult now. And you're not as obedient as before. If you had only listened to my advice and married the Emperor, our relationship would have gotten a lot stronger, and perhaps I would love you even more. <sighs> there are moments I wish time stood still so you would never grow up. Empress! I'm so worried about the prince. Something's wrong. Your Grace, take a look at your baby. He's been crying nonstop. His body is filled with rashes, Your Highness. His body is filled with spots. <gasps> what could be wrong with my baby? Give the baby to me. My baby. Oh no. He was doing fine earlier. Why did he suddenly have rashes? I don't know. What did you do to my child? I did nothing wrong. I swear, I didn't do anything to the prince. All I did since earlier was feed the baby some milk. He was doing fine until now. I swear, after he drank some milk, he suddenly started to cry. I didn't know what to do. I swear, I would never hurt the prince. Somebody! Where's the Imperial Physician? Call him right now! Yes, right away. Tell His Majesty, I have important news. Hurry! Sir, I have important news. Her Majesty is so distraught. She ordered me to let you know that she needs His Majesty immediately. Are you trying to tell me? If I had married Silong instead, you and my father would not have gotten into a fight? The late Emperor and my father would still be alive today? And my mother would still be at the Prime Minister's mansion? You're blaming me for what happened? I honestly believe I did nothing wrong. 
And after all, it was my brother who betrayed me first. Despite what he did, I handled it quite well. For the crime he did to your father, he should have been cut into pieces. But I decided to let him live. In fact, I didn't expect one of them to suddenly die somewhere like that. Don't worry, none of this is your fault. So, does this mean you've finally forgiven me? I understand where you are coming from. You've nothing to worry. But if one day, I become an obstacle in all of your plans, I wonder what you are going to do to me. Tonight, I was looking forward to finally talk to you again over some exquisite wine. Who knew this aged wine would be so bland? I expected something better than this taste. Majesty has arrived! Why did you call for me? What's going on here? What happened? He was all right during dinner, right? What seems to be the problem? What's wrong with him? Greetings, Your Majesty. Hurry, give him to me. Wait. What's wrong with him? Physician! Your Majesty! What happened? Your Majesty, I see nothing abnormal about the Prince's condition. Nothing abnormal? You've already said this before! Any more crying from him and I'll bust my ears out! Ever since my son was born, all he did was cry. I noticed he lost some weight. And every time I ask you a question, you always tell me there's nothing wrong! Nothing's abnormal? Explain to me. Why does he have rashes all over his body? Oh. I checked it earlier. I think I know the reason why. There are red spots on his body. It was caused... by alcohol. Do you mean wine? That's right. Are you out of your mind? How could that happen to my son? Ever since our baby was born, everyone here has been taking care of him. He got it from alcohol? Are you out of your mind? How could that happen to my son? Ever since our baby was born, everyone here has been taking care of him. He got it from alcohol? I had ordered some nurses to make a hangover cure and then feed it to the prince. If he drinks some and manages to get better, it means he drank wine. Wondru. Yes. Has he drank any wine? <laughs> He's just a baby. How could I let him drink any wine? Besides, it was the wet nurse who gives him his meals. And she always makes sure to give him good food. How is this possible? <laughs> Let me ask you. Have you had any alcohol? No, Your Majesty. I didn't do anything. I would never do anything like that. You have to believe me, please. 
Your Majesty. <laughs> Soon we shall see if you are truly innocent. Little snail, you bear such a heavy shell. Are you tired? You coward. Is it nice to hide inside it? Come out and feel the breeze. Come see the world. <sighs> if I could remove all the burdens and become just like you and hide in my shell, wouldn't that be nice? <sighs> Huh? Princess? Princess, come now. Why are you drinking like this out here? Uh, did the Empress Dowager say something to you? Princess, in my opinion, please don't get too embarrassed by the Dowager. The Wang family isn't as strong now. But with her protection, you can rest assured of your safety. Forget what needs to be forgotten. Madam Sue, it's easy for you to say, but people always remember what they should forget and forget what they should remember. But I'm aware of what I should remember and what I should forget. Princess, please drink with me. All right. Here. All right. Come on, hurry up now. All right, all right. That's enough. Oh, little prince, here. Time for your yeah. medicine now. Uh -huh. Come on, little here, prince. little prince. Okay, oh, here you go. Slow down, the boy might choke. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Your Majesty, later on, you'll see the truth at last. How is it? Well, Your Majesty, it seems that he has indeed drank some wine. 
However, he appears to be all right now. <laughs> Someone. Your Majesty. Flog her to death. <gasps> Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm innocent. Your Majesty, I'm innocent. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. <laughs> she made that mistake. She deserves to pay. Yes, of course. You're right, Your Grace. Give him to me. Physician? Oh, uh, Your Majesty. Let me ask. Is it normal for a baby to cry that much? Because mine never seems to stop crying at all. What's wrong with him? Uh, well, Your Majesty, I felt a pulse in the prince several times, in fact. There is nothing wrong with the prince, I swear. But the boy might also be physically weak. It might be merely a congenital deficiency. As for the issue of crying, I can only surmise that the little prince must have been frightened somehow. He's what? You say he's frightened? Yes. Madam Shu? Madam Shu? Guard Pang. Madam Shu is with the princess right now. They're at the palace. If you have something to tell her, you can just tell me. Oh, it's not important. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks, Monsieur. Stop with the crying. Our son is fine now, right? Wanru, if you keep crying like this, then I'm leaving. I will go elsewhere. What do you mean, Your Majesty? Our son was in pain. And as our son's mother, I can't help but worry. What else am I to do? Or maybe you're just tired of me already, and you're just finding an excuse to stay with concubine Shin or Chu instead. What are you talking about? Huh? Just look at yourself, Wanru. Do you even hear yourself? You can't help but be jealous. How do you expect to be a role model? I only did what I had to do. I am the Emperor. To you. Do you want me to... to really love you alone? Why, Your Majesty? You mean you regret marrying me? That's right. If that accident had never happened, then you would have been how Lord Yu Chung is now, treasuring that girl. Telling everyone she is yours, that you have nobody else in your life. What? <laughs> Nonsense! Your Majesty, wait! Your Majesty, please don't! Your Majesty, this is all my fault! Please don't leave, Your Majesty! <laughs> your Majesty... <laughs> Wandru, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty. 
داشتی Look at you. After giving birth to our son, you're no longer as gentle as before. You've become too willful, arbitrary, and you keep complaining. In the past, I hated politics. I always wanted to be in the palace. Because when I was there, I really felt like I was home. I actually felt happy whenever we spoke. But now, whenever I come back, Either you or our son are always in tears. I'm very tired. Very tired. <laughs> Your Majesty. You know, I'm not only worried about our son, but also... but also about how you are doing. Why would you be so worried about me? Just now, Physician Shen said Jing was frightened. Think about it, Your Majesty. Jing was protected by wet nurses all the time. No one could have reached him that easily, so why would our son be frightened? Yes, you're right. Well then, tomorrow, I will call astronomer Lu Ziyan. Mm. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Nani Cheng, you're so muddle headed. You're lucky my son is fine. Because if anything happened to the prince, I wouldn't have spoken to His Majesty for you. I'd have killed you first. If anything happened to the prince, even. even my death would not be enough. I only assumed that. If the prince was only a little bit drunk, he would sleep well instead of crying. <laughs> I know that you did that all for me. Because if you hadn't done it, you would be dead by now. Now stand up. Thank you, Your Grace. Your Majesty, the Starly Engine represents fire. And so, we expect a disaster. Then perhaps you can also find where it is, its location now? I... well... Tell me! I cannot figure out where it is. According to its trend, in the past couple of years, the man should be from a humble family and had a sudden rise to power. Besides, it used to be 
located up in the north. But right now, it's close to the Emperor Star. He might be in the capital, or at least close to the capital. A humble family? Sudden rise to power? Used to be in the north? His Majesty summoned Li Zhu Yin. The astronomer was my father's apprentice. When he was a poor man, my father helped out a great deal. I've already arranged for everything. The answer that His Majesty wants to hear is only one person. Send a message to Helen Jen. Tell him to get himself ready. The time has come. Wait for my instructions. His Majesty plans to kill Lord Yu Chang. Why must you continue to cooperate with Helen Chen? Didn't the late Emperor try to kill Lord Yu Chang? I. How silly of me. It is imperative that he has to die. My lord, Tang Jing said that after Helen Chen went back to Hulan, his soldiers really stopped attacking us. <laughs> if we knew this work in the first place, we would have given them more princesses. <laughs> and now, the rainy season has found its way back to Hulan. In the past, they only attacked at the turn of winter or spring. And so, this should be nothing. Tell Tang Jing. Don't lower his guard. Keep close watch on Ning Shuo. Yes. Hmm. It's been a long time since then. I honestly miss the place. When the court is a bit more stable, I can let go of some of my other duties and come back with you to Ning Shuo. I'm looking forward to that, my lord. But my lord, the princess has always liked the capital. Do you think she would be willing to go with us? Back to Ning Shuo and Wai Yan too? He's Count Suyi now. Will he go back with us? Think about him. The man just got a big promotion. He has a beautiful wife. Are you maybe... Jealous of Wyan? Of course not. I'll be going, my lord. I... Hey, Yusha. Do you look fat because you're pregnant now? Do I? I think you look prettier now. <laughs> hey, don't forget about us. You haven't been back in so long. How could I? I wanted to come back. But... After Huayan left the capital, I found myself pregnant with his child. Mm, older women told me that it isn't good to tell others or travel in three months. I didn't dare go out until it was all right. Wait a second. You just called him Huayan? <laughs> <laughs> does the general know about this? Yes, he does. Huayan... He... <laughs> always asked someone to send me my supplements. <laughs> How does it feel to be pregnant, Yusha? Mm, I'm always hungry, like I'm starving. But when I eat, I throw up, then get hungry again. It's terrible. Yusha, do you want it to be a boy or maybe a girl? A baby boy or a baby girl. I'd like either one. <laughs> Princess, here is your medicine. Madam Shu! Princess, your lunch is ready too. Mrs. Song, come. Madam Shu, why do you call me that? You can just call me Yushu. Come along, Mrs. Song.
Princess, what's wrong with Madame Shu? <sighs> Ignore it. I think your baby must be hungry now. <laughs> Come on. All right. <laughs> My lord, I forgot. This is the list of herbs Song Yen sent. He wanted you to get it ready soon. It looks like he still isn't doing well. Prepare the list as instructed. Get the herbs ready and send them here as soon as you can. I heard transportation has broken down. So you have to make certain that these reach Wyan immediately. Sir. A humble family, a meteoric rise, and close to the Emperor's star. The astronomer said, it will come from the north, and it draws near the Emperor's star, or near the capital. Among all the officials in my court, there is only one. What now? As the nation's emperor, are you scared to say the name of your official? Uh, I didn't mean that, mother. This is very serious. I really cannot decide on my own. I need your help, mother. Lord Yu Chong wields no power here, but in his army. In a month's time, you and the officials will leave for the hunting grounds. At that time, if assassins want to kill you off, and he gives his life to save yours, then wouldn't that make quite the story? That's very good. I was worried that this plan would make you or Awu very unhappy. This is a brilliant plan indeed. You're still worried about Awu? Even up to now? Let me tell you again. If that husband of hers, or even Awu herself, gets in our way, you'll have to kill her without hesitation. You're right, Mother. Yes, I should keep that in mind. Who is it? It's me, Madam Sue. Madam Sue. Aya told me that you went to visit me last night. Hmm. Look here, Madam Shu. This is... You asked me to track where the Lord was going. It's all over. I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. I understood the Lord's motives. He has his own troubles now. He was only being nice. I tracked him down for months. I found something else. The Lord often goes to this house, sometimes half a month or three or five days. He always goes there, in casual clothes. Did you... did you find out who lives in that house? Based on my findings, a certain lady Dot lives there, with two of her children. Children? <sighs> and you saw all this with your own eyes? The guards told me first. I didn't believe them until I tracked him myself. They were not lying. My lord, somebody has sent you a letter. Who sent this? He left after sending it. Then find out. If you see him again, take him out. Yes. He'll go.
So? No robbers means no alertness. No limits means no control. The character die is a key part of your name. You must write it correctly. Look here. You said all of this plainly, and I do trust you. But why would he see another woman without letting the princess know about it? And you even mentioned that there were two children. Indeed. <sighs> Madam Sue, you're so funny sometimes. Yushu has only been away a few hours, and you're still mad at her. Yushu? Yes. Oh. Well, she's irresponsible. She parades around while she's carrying a child. You know, I should have asked her never to come again. Madam Sue, I know you care for me. And you don't want me to get hurt either. But think about it, too. Yushu was pregnant. If she didn't tell me, it means we're no longer close, right? I don't want you to feel sad when you see her. Even so, I have to accept it too. If I keep running from it, then I'll only be lying to myself. And besides, I've decided that I won't avoid this. Oh, sorry, princess. I must have hurt you by accident. Madam Sue, you look like you're distracted. Are you hiding something from me? I will not lie to you. Today, Pangue gave me this. Your Grace, Your Grace, you don't look so well today. Jing cries every single night. You can even hear him from the Zhaoyang Palace. So how can I expect to look good when I can't even sleep at night? Even His Majesty doesn't want to come to the palace. In the long run, I might even go crazy. His Majesty... He's always busy with work. He doesn't come as often as before. Empress, please don't worry about it. I think that one day the prince will get better, and by then your relationship with the emperor will be just as good as it was before. And then what? There are so many beautiful women in the harem right now. I can't compete with them. Come on, your majesty! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Come on, your majesty, let's go! Come on, your majesty! Wait up. Come and get me! <laughs> your majesty! Look! <laughs> Look at this, your majesty! Look! Look how pretty it is! Yes, I see. Oh, look, your grace. Your I'd say you're a lot prettier than that. <laughs> Princess, we are here. Yus came from Tangnan. 
The floods in the region have been controlled at last. The victims have been accounted for properly. It looks as though Lord Jangsha handled the situation well. Good. It's a decent enough start. But we still can't afford to slack off. The money and food for disaster relief must be delivered across Jiangnan immediately. We need to assist. Lord Jiangsha. Yes. yes. Is there anything else? Uh, that's all, my lord. Let's call it a day. My lord. Why did you come? Why didn't you tell me? I... <laughs> Mrs. Zhao told me everything. She said you and her husband joined the army together. You even had the same dreams. You two were like brothers. And after he died, you adopted his kids as your own. You should have told me about it. I was afraid about what you might think. You think too much. Hey, Uncle. I like Big Sister a lot. <laughs> sister Awu. You called her... Sister? Mm -hmm. And you call me Uncle? Is there something wrong? You should call her Aunt instead. Hey, I'm not that old. What do you want to call me? I like calling you Sister Awu more. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> lunch is ready. Xiao Ha, come on. Coming. Time for lunch. Here, Jinji. Sit beside me here. All right. Here's the porridge. All right. Wow. It smells so good. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You should call her aunt instead. What do you want to call me? I like calling you Sister Awu more. Good girl. <laughs> Princess, all of this is all because of me. I swear, I won't do it again. You only did this for me. But please do me one more favor. Send someone to the palace and bring me Physician Shen. Yes. Princess, please be careful. Don't risk your life. Don't worry, Madam Sue. I just want to ask him if he has some other methods he could use to nurse my body. Oh, that's all right then. Welcome, Welcome my, my lord. lord. Greetings, my, my lord. My lord, His Majesty expects you. Come. Your Majesty, Lord Yu Zhang has come. Your Majesty. You're finally here. I have something to report to you. Oh? What a coincidence, because I have one issue to negotiate with you. Next month, I will arrange for a hunting trip with the officials, to show homage 
and to pray for a pleasant year to come and a prosperous country. My father was a sickly man. Because of that, he never did this. But now that I have become emperor, I shall honor that tradition. Lord Yu Jang, what do you think about that? I agree. All right. I'm glad you do. You said you had something to tell me? What is it? I formally submit my resignation. Resignation? Lord Yu Jang, you wield supreme power. You're second only to me. I don't understand. Why would you want to resign? I was always a general, and I am needed at the border. The court is now a stable. I want to go back to Ningxu. Yu Jang, are you serious? You would abandon power to return to Ningxuo? Have you made up your mind on this? Yes, I have, Your Majesty. Uh, does Awu know about this? I haven't told her. Ah. Uh. This is very unexpected. Let me think about it for a few more days. Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Madam Xu, Physician Shen is here. Oh. This way, please. Come. Yes. Mm. Princess, Physician Shen has come. Greetings. It's good to see you, Princess. Thanks for coming, Physician Shen. It is my honor. Come, you may enter. Oh. Thank you, Princess. Madam Su, please leave us alone. Yes, Princess. Have a seat. Yes, thank you, Princess. Why did you summon me? Is there anything wrong? Are you perhaps not feeling very well now? I feel much better now. I just wanted to ask something face to face with you. Ah. Uh. Feel free to ask. I will answer you honestly. You have watched me grow up since I was a child. I never expected you to help Lord Yu Chang lie to me then. Oh, I am sorry, Princess. But I only did it because Lord Yu Chang cared for you a lot. And I myself didn't want you to risk your life either. Is there no way to cure me? Well, uh... Physician Shen, how are you doing? Oh, thank you for your concern, Princess. Here's your tea, Physician Shen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Princess, in order to prolong your life even further, the Lord has fed you the ice flower. Its nature is its extreme coldness. Madam Xu, Physician Shen is here. Oh. Physician Shen, please. Yes. Mm. Princess, Physician Shen has arrived. Greetings. It's good to see you, Princess. Thank you for coming, Physician Shen. It is my honor. Please sit, Physician Shen. Oh. Thank you, Princess.
Madam Sue, you may leave us now. Yes, Your Highness. Please sit down. Yes, thank you, Princess. Why did you summon me? Is there anything wrong? Are you, perhaps, not feeling very well now? I feel much better now. I called you today to ask you something face to face. Ah, feel free to ask. I will answer you honestly. Physician Shen, you took care of me and watched me grow up. I really didn't expect you to help Lord Yuchang lie to me. Ah, I am sorry, Princess. But I only did it because Lord Yuchang cared for you a lot. And I myself didn't want you to risk your life either. Is there no way to cure me? Well, uh... Physician Shen, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thank you for your concern, Princess. Here's your tea, Physician Shen. Oh, thank you. Princess, in order to prolong your life even further, the Lord has fed you the ice flower. Its nature is its extreme coldness. Its effect can only be countered by a few medicine, and it's risky. Even if it's very risky, I'm willing to try it. Physician Shen, if you don't agree, I'll find another doctor. I won't stop until I find a doctor who'll agree with me to help me achieve my will. You're willing to take the risk for Lord Yu Chang's sake. That's why I can't refuse your request. However, Your Highness, I've been your doctor since you were a little girl. For your sake, I have to tell you the truth. Please tell me, doctor. You're finally here. I didn't want to be here. Truth is, I can't stand such foul smell. I prefer clean things. I'll leave after I'm done. The Empress said that the Emperor and Empress Dowager will take action. You have to kill him in one stroke. So I advise you to go back and tell your master to try harder. You should come up with a plan. You have to think about it clearly. The birthday of your little prince might be the day that you... I know. But if there's a glimmer of hope, I will never give up. Seeing that you're very determined, Your Highness, I will use all the knowledge I've learned in medicine and try everything I can to seek a way for you to be a mother and live. <sighs> However, Your Highness, if Lord Yuchang finds out about it, <laughs> I know I will surely die. The hope that you're giving me is an act of kindness. I'll always be grateful. I'll never forget it. <sighs> Physician Shen, even if I leave this world, I will deal with it on my own. I will never drag you down. All right. Thank you, Your Highness. I am always at your service. Thank you, Physician Shen. Ah. Well then, I'll be waiting for you in the palace, Your Highness. Thank you, Physician Shen. Ah. Aie, send the doctor off. Yes, Princess. Your Highness, I will take my leave. See you soon. Princess, you're going to the palace? Physician Shen has an idea to exile the cold in my body. But I have to live in the palace for a few days 
for daily acupuncture. That is great. A few days is not a problem. It's worth it, even for a month. Fresh. You want three? All right, want more? See you again. Do you still have raw buns? Raw? Come inside. Hey, man to stall. Over here, over here. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit the bar. In here. This way. Hmm. Please. Any news? Both inside and outside the palace, they are ready. It is clearly written in this sachet. Be sure to send this to Lord Anping. All right. You better be careful with the Empress, too. Don't worry. I shouldn't stay long. Use the old way to contact me. I will. I think Jinger's face is getting worse. He doesn't look like a prince. <sighs> he looks like a sick cat. You may leave. Take the little prince so we can rest. Yes. All of you leave us. Yes, your majesty. <sighs> What's wrong, your majesty? It's about Lord Yu Zheng, Xiao Qi. He came to see me today. He told me he wants to resign from his post. He wants to return to Ningxu. Did you agree? I shall behave like my father and my uncle and imprison him. Your Majesty. What's your plan? I've been thinking. If I let Lord Yu Zhang go back to Ningxu, he'll be in the north and far from here. And maybe he won't be a threat to us anymore. Your Majesty, don't be silly. You're back. Why are you still awake? What's wrong? I dare not sleep until you come back. Why? For no reason at all. A dead bird fell off the roof today. Oh? A dead bird? What kind of omen was it? Don't worry about it. Maybe it was just a coincidence. I really don't know why, but I can't stop myself from worrying when you go hunting in the autumn. 
When you fought on the battlefield, I wasn't this nervous. But no matter what, be extra careful, Xiao Ji. Don't worry. I will. Jinger, please be a good baby. Stop crying. What is wrong with him? He never stops crying. <sighs> All right. Stop crying, Jinger. Stop crying. Stop it. You're driving me crazy. <sighs> Empress, the Emperor will stay at Concert Rom's palace. He won't come here tonight. He won't come? All right. He's not coming. <gasps> cry, cry, cry. All you do is cry. You're such a demon baby. Why are you still here? Get out! Get out of here! Uh, yes, go and leave us. <sighs> Your Highness, you have to take it easy. Do you think I was born to be in debt to him? I was counting on Jinger to consolidate my status in this empire. But his majesty's moving farther away from me. Anyone with eyes can see that the emperor is in love with those young ladies. Nowadays, he's only playing around with concubine Shinner concert wrong. He doesn't come to me unless he has to. <laughs> Not to mention, spending the night here. What am I going to do if this goes on? Your Highness, hold on a little longer. Everything will be all right. Fine. I'll listen to you. I'll bear it a little longer. I wish Jinger will get better. And His Majesty will come back to me. But I'm afraid I'm slowly losing hope. You're back. Yes. How are things? Did you see him? I've sent the message already. Water level has gone down a bit. According to your deployment, my lord, the three levees have been repaired. The flood in Shenha River has been controlled. And in the downstream of Qi River, Count Su Yi and his men are instructing people to divide the canal. It is to be finished in five days. Oh, does Count Su Yi have enough people? Yes. Thanks to Lady Gu, we assembled thousands of workers. Now work is much faster. <laughs> ah, Lady Gu is here again. Go check the other banks. Yes. Come on. I can't thank you enough, Lady Goo. Drinking wine by the lake is really interesting. I've long heard that you like to drink, my lord. So I've been wondering if you like our local wine. This wine, although very light, its taste is so sweet on the lips. It's very impressive. 
If you like it, Lord Jiangsha, please drink a few more cups. It's colder in autumn. You may warm yourself with wine. I would like to propose a toast to your sweet wine. If we were born in a lower class, maybe we could have lived a freer life. <laughs> the noble class has their difficulties. So do people from the lower class. Our family background, our circumstances, and even our marriage. It's not up to us, which makes us unhappy. But we have the power to decide how to face such difficulties so we won't be unhappy. I didn't expect such sophisticated words would come from a gentle little girl. Hmm. My lord, I'm a grown-up now. I'm no longer a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> come on, drink some more. His Majesty approve of my resignation. When I come back from the hunting ground, we can go back to Ningxuo. All right. While you're away, we'll start packing our things and wait for your return. Once we leave, we'll never return to the capital. I hope you won't regret it. Nothing in this palace could convince me to stay. If you follow me, you might sleep in an open field with scant food and clothes. You think sleeping in an open field with scant food and clothes could scare and stop me? <laughs> Don't you try to leave me here alone. All right. We'll be together, going different places, touring around the world. And later, I'd find a quaint and attractive place to build a log cabin. We will live a carefree life. An leisurely life together. With just you and me. Just you and me. What we had in the past. We'll keep it in the past. Whoa. 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 Calm down, Jing Yun. It's all right. What's going on? Huh? My lord, princess. I don't know why. Normally, Jing Yun is the most well-behaved. But today, she's unwilling to separate with Mo Zhao. She refuses to listen to us. Even horses refuse to separate. Not to mention people. Let's take her as well. Yes, my lord. We'll take Jing Yun too. I have to go. Hmm? You're leaving without hugging me? Forget it. This time you owe me one. Come back and hug me then. <laughs> Come back soon.
Empress Dowager. It's very late now. Please take a rest. Soon after you take your medicine. <sighs> I think I made the wrong decision. <sighs> I should have gone to the hunting ground with the Emperor. It's such a big thing. His Majesty is still not yet mature. It might be hard for him to handle. Your Majesty, please don't worry. Insecurity makes bad things happen. <sighs> what you said to me makes sense. But I can't help it. I feel uneasy. Empress Dowager, do not feel uneasy. Don't you remember who came to the palace earlier today? You mean Awu? Yes, your majesty. That's right. I nearly forgot about that. Nanigui, go and visit Awu. Try your best to make her stay in the palace a few more days. Before the emperor returns, she must not leave the palace. All right, I understand. Awu has always been a tough girl. Once she knows her husband is dead, she will surely avenge his death with all her might. <laughs> Dr. Shen, the color of Changchen Occupoint returned to normal. I understand. Now apply the fresh drug juice on the back of Her Highness. Then don't forget to wash it off after two hours. Add the drug bag in the bath water. Do it in the morning and at night every day. Also, the acupoints reserved for the fire needles are all critical points. It's very painful. You have to bear it for days, Your Highness. Your Highness, you will suffer much. Physician Shen, don't worry. Just use the drug.
All right, Your Highness. We're done for now. I'll come back later tonight. Thank you for your hard work. I'll leave now. Thank you. Your Highness, please have your meal. After eating, you'll visit the Empress Dowager. Not just the Empress Dowager, but the Empress as well. Also prepare a little present for the little prince. Yes, Your Highness. We bid our greetings to you, Empress Dowager. We wish Your Majesty a long and healthy life. You may rise and take a seat. Thank, Thank you, you Mother. Majesty. Princess Yu Chang has arrived! Wang Shen, bow to Your Majesty. I wish Your Majesty a long and healthy life. You may rise and take a seat. <sighs> oh, servant, bring a seat for Princess Yu Chang. Yes. Just put it here. You rarely come to the palace. I want you to sit closer to me. Thank you. Princess Yu Chang and I have been close sisters for years. Now is a good time for us to share confidences. I heard that you're going to live in Ningxuo, together with your husband. I plan to do that, Your Majesty. Uh, Lord Yu Chang is such an outstanding hero that he can make his wife, Princess Yu Chang, abandon her wealth and glory, the capital, and the Empress Dowager. He can make the princess leave the past. You're perfectly right, Your Majesty. Lord Yu Chang is worth my leaving everything behind. Oh goodness. My Yong'an Palace hasn't been so lively for a long time. Because we usually come and greet you, Mother, in pairs or threes, if Your Majesty enjoys crowds, then we will come more often together. The, the Empress, Empress is right! right. It's not difficult for us to gather, but the problem is, Princess Yu Chang does not live in the palace, so it's rare for her to visit. That is true. But nobody among you has lived in the palace longer than Princess Yu Chang. Yes, that's right. Certainly. Princess Yu Chang grew right. up in the palace. I know. If she can stay <laughs> a little longer this time, we can come and visit Her Majesty with her. We oh, can also great. enjoy the jokes you make up. That's perfect. <laughs> right, right. Certainly. <laughs> this is no longer the palace where I grew up. The shadows of swords and blades are hiding behind these smiling faces. Those who used to protect me have changed completely. My aunt is no longer my aunt, but Empress Dowager. And Sister Wanru is the Empress now. Sister Wanru. I've prepared a small gift for the little prince. I'd like to give it to you. Oh, you didn't have to, but thank you. How about you come with me and give it to him? All right. And I can visit him as well. Come along with me.
I see that your majesty still feels sad and worried. In a few days, how will our woes in my future be like? Would it be... I still remember the first time I saw Awu. At that time, she was still a baby. When she saw me, she kept smiling and giggling. As soon as I held her, the naughty girl peed all over me. <laughs> Our lovely Awu grew up beside me. Without leaving for a second, she kept asking me to sleep in my bed. <laughs> I thought at that time, this little girl will be the empress in the future. My daughter-in-law. My niece and daughter-in-law will become a family. That's why, all this time, I've always loved her like my daughter. To be honest, Princess Yu Chang still have you in her heart, Your Majesty. I know that. No one in this world would stand in front of me without hesitation. When a unit tried to stab and kill me, my brother cannot do that. And the former emperor too. Nor my only son, so long. But my Awu did it. She protected me. <sighs> but these days, she doesn't call me aunt anymore. <gasps> She calls me Empress Dowager. It's like I'm a total stranger when she calls me that. <sighs> Empress Dowager. Maybe things will turn around. Our journey's end cannot be changed. Awu and I would have to live with it. When she realizes that it was Zilong and I who killed her husband, the day that she would forgive me would never come. So I will never leave such an enemy behind me. You've lived courageously, Your Majesty. This is what an Empress Dowager should do. These days, if some good stuff come in, Send it to Feng Chi Palace. Under such circumstances. Let me pamper her as her aunt. Let me care for her one last time. Yes, Your Majesty. <gasps> Greetings, Empress. Princess Yu Chang. Take a seat. Aye, show the Empress my gift for the little prince. Yes. May the little prince have good luck. And be healthy. My son Jing'er. Thanks, Princess Yu Cheng. Ni Cheng, take it. Yes. You may all wait outside. Yes. yes. After we both got married, I believe we never met each other alone. Awu still misses Sister Wanru a lot. <laughs> Sister Wanru, what are you doing here? I knew you were bored. I made us Mantha's cake for you. You always think of me. <laughs> It seems that fate likes to fool us. You were supposed to be the crown princess, confirmed by the late emperor and empress dowager. 
while my father and the late emperor ordered me to marry Lord Yu Cheng. But now, our identities have been switched. We don't have control over it. I do hope that... Nothing in the past happened. I'm still the same Awu. You're still my sister, Wan Ru. The old Wan Ru has died long ago in this palace. This palace hindered too much love and affection for me. Is the little prince crying? Yes. I don't know why, but since he was born, my son Jinger cries all day long. <sighs> oh, it's all right. It's all right, little prince. Don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, you're a good boy, right? Our little prince is a good boy. <sighs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Princess Yu Chung. What's wrong with the little prince? The prince is a bit weak. He cries all day long since he was born and stops when he's sleepy. The imperial physicians visited him, but they all said he's fine. Maybe a little later, Jinger will not cry like this. Oh. Oh. May I hold him for a while? All right. Your Majesty, I'm going to get the clothes for the prince to change into. Go ahead. All right. <sighs> I don't know why. Whenever I hear him crying, I develop a headache. When he's older, I just hope everything will be all right. Shh. <laughs> it seems that Jinger likes you. Lying in your arms, he sleeps so quietly. <sighs> your Majesty, shh. Oh. The Empress Dowager asked me to see her now. Then allow me to leave now. Jinger seldom sleeps so soundly without crying. Just stay with him a little longer. But you'll all be gone. I'll be left alone. It's not appropriate. Oh, Wu. I'll be back soon. Majesty, shh. Oh. <gasps> the Empress Dowager asked me to see her now. Then allow me to leave now. Jinger seldom sleeps soundly without crying. Just stay with him a little longer. But you'll all be gone. I'll be left alone. It's not appropriate. Oh, Wu. I'll be back soon. Dowager, you were worn out recently. 
Please take care of yourself. Tilong is now the Emperor. How could I not worry about him? I wonder what's going on with him. Empress Dowager, the Prime Minister is here. I understand. You may leave now. Yes. Empress Dowager. May I ask why you summoned me Empress Dowager? I just want to know your opinion. What do you think about Lord Yu Chang's reduction of his military power? Empress Dowager, I heard Lord Yu Chang is returning to Ningxu. His Majesty should take this opportunity to slowly reduce Lord Yu Chang's military power and apply the divide and rule strategy. Slowly. How slow should it be? It should be step by step. First, the noble class masters the military power. Only in this way, the noble class and the low class can check and balance each other. And what should we do if Lord Yu Chang rebels? Before we implement that strategy. Well. I think, should that happen, we should kill him. Empress Dowager, that mustn't happen. There's no time to waste. We must act now. Once he becomes stronger, the Emperor will be contained. If we fail and infuriate Lord Yu Chang, have you ever thought how all this will end? <laughs> Prime Minister, you're scared. Yes, I am. But I'm not scared for myself. I'm afraid that we will fail in this endeavor. Our country just stabilized. Not only that, His Majesty succeeded in keeping a low profile right now. We are no match for Lord Yu Chang. Once Lord Yu Chang's army is pressed on the border, who can defeat him? Even you are against me. But it's too late to take things back. What's done is done. I really hope that Lord Yu Chang has become a cold corpse by now. Successful or not, the news will reach the capital within two days. Empress Dowager, if it's successful, I congratulate you and His Majesty for getting rid of a threat. And if it's not, and Lord Yu Chang's launches an attack, I'm willing to fight against him, together with His Majesty. Empress Dowager, the paddock is only a day away from the capital. So, I'll get ready now.
Little prince, stop sleeping. Wake up. Go on. Keep your eyes open. Come on, huh? Wake up. Don't close your eyes. Wake up. Just keep awake. Don't sleep. What are you doing? Put the prince down. What were you saying just now? I said nothing to him. I heard the prince was crying, so I came to comfort him. I saw what you did. I wasn't... Why did you hurt the prince? I didn't. Be honest. Owl, what's wrong? Wanru. Empress, Princess Consort Yu Chang. She's wronged me. I really came here to comfort the little prince. The prince is weak now. I love him more than anyone. So how could I hurt him? I am not lying, Wanru. I saw Nanny Zhang trying to wake him up. Waking him up? Yes. You misunderstand me. Nanny Cheng, stand up. Yes. Can you tell me what's going on? When I came inside, there was no one inside the palace except for the prince who was crying in bed. I got so worried I hurried to hold the prince to calm him down. When he was about to fall asleep, Princess Consort Yu Chang suddenly walked out from there and blamed me for it, saying I was trying to hurt the prince, but in fact I wasn't doing that. It's her empress. Nanny Shang. She made the prince cry, not me. Please investigate what happened. I would never hurt him. How dare you? Oh, Shang! <laughs> You liar! Wang Shen, how dare you hurt her? You should ask me before punishing her. How dare you be this presumptuous? Empress, if you saw how she treated the prince, I'm afraid you will kill her. <gasps> Ridiculous! Nani Cheng is an old maid of my family. I know what kind of person she is. You need not so discord. You don't trust me? Empress, I really didn't do anything to the prince. Princess Consort Yu Chang has wronged me. That's nonsense. Our princess never wrongs anyone for no reason. Empress. Madam Shu, you could come closer. Even if my subordinates had done something wrong, you can't just hurt her. Today, you slapped my maid, and I slapped yours. I suggest we leave it at that. Princess Consort Yu Chang, listen to me clearly. I will not tolerate you causing trouble here. All right. Consider me being nosy then. However, I still have something to say. You said that Jing usually cries all day long. Have you ever thought about who usually takes care of him? Just now, he slept soundly in my arms without crying. But when Nanny Zhang entered the room, he started to cry again. Do you think it's just a coincidence? 
distrust me all you want. But I still have to advise you. Take good care of him. And keep him away from this woman. What my business is my own. You need not bother yourself with it. Don't worry. I will never enter your chamber again. Nani Cheng, is what Wang Shen said true? Empress, are you saying you don't believe me? All right then, keep Jing closer to me. My baby cannot leave my side no matter what. I'm sure Wang Shen's lie will prove itself to be false. Let's see what she has to say by then. Yes. Get up. Thank you, Empress. <laughs> Greetings, Empress Dowager. Something happened in Zhaoyang Palace. What is it? For some unknown reason, Princess Consort Yu Cheng slapped the Empress's maid Nani Cheng. The Empress got angry and slapped Princess Consort Yu Cheng's maid Madame Shu. Even though Ah Wu was a spoiled child, she's not that arrogant. Even towards servants, she has never punished them without reason. They must have done something outrageous. <sighs> That's she, Wan Ru. Just because she's the Empress, she's acting arrogant. She'll bully anyone. Uh, just as I said. If Awu were obedient at that time, then Shi Wanru wouldn't be this bold and ignorant. And Awu would still be on my side. Uh, even if things have come to this, they don't have the right to insult the Wang family like this. I heard that Madame Shu entered the palace much earlier than me. Madame Xu used to serve the previous Empress Dowager and was the favorite. When the eldest princess married, the Dowager wasn't reassured and ordered Madame Xu to accompany her. She's the most qualified. No one is as superior as her. That nanny Cheng's a nobody. Well, Empress Dowager, will you go there? I sincerely hope she'll come and complain to me when she is bullied, just like before. <sighs> Let's just wait and see. How could the Empress do that? The Princess was only looking out for the Prince, but she was recriminated. Ah, yeah. We're in the palace. We must watch what we say. Aye, don't make trouble for the princess. Ugh. I'm just angry, and I care about you. Madame Shu, you used to serve the previous Empress Dowager. All these years, whether they work here or not, no one has disrespected you. The Empress Dowager, even she respects you. Even if she's the Empress, she can't bully people like that. I've worked here long enough, and have experienced a lot. So I understand that everyone in this world will be bullied at one point. Even the Emperor and the Empress Dowager have their own frustrations. The Princess cares about the Prince, doesn't she? She's always said that the Prince was like her own child who had no chance to live in this world. If the Princess's child was born safely, he would be the same age as the prince. Why did Nani Cheng hurt the prince anyway? And speaking of, 
She has served noble concert she for the longest time. And now look at her. Being valued by the Empress, they both said her son and daughter-in-law worked for the Shi family. There is a rumor going on that the prince has been sick from birth. That's why he cries all day. His health is getting worse. Days ago, the physicians carefully checked the prince's diet, clothes, and body, but they found nothing unusual. The prince seemed to be healthy. However, no one expected that as long as the prince fell asleep, they would disturb him and make him cry terribly. Like he said, Nanny Chen and the Shi family are closely related. So why did she do that? Empress! Empress! What do you want? I believe that the prince has peed. I just got his undergarments this afternoon, Empress. Allow me to change him. All right then. I understand. You considered what Princess Concert Yu Chang said. But I also understand that the prince is your life. You should be cautious. But I promise I always try my best to serve you and the prince. I believe in you. I trust that you will clear my name. Listen, don't think too much. Jing will stay with me for the meantime. In that way, you can rest for a while. Yes. Excuse me, Empress. It's time for dinner. Empress, you've stayed here for about four hours. It's time for dinner. Let me take care of the prince. Please leave us. You said that Jing usually cries all day long. Just now, he slept soundly in my arms, without crying. But when Nanny Zhang entered the room, he started to cry again. Do you think it's just a coincidence? <sighs> Distrust me all you want, but I still have to advise you. Take good care of him, and keep him away from this woman. 
Come on! Push! Move it! to Lord Zhangsha. Tell him we'll keep the South Levy under control. Then go! Yes! Soldiers! Bring the stones over here! Hold fast to the levy! The slum is over here! We won't let this overflow! All right! Faster! Here you go, sir! Work harder! Hurry up! It's too dangerous! Why are you here, Lord Joshua? Go back! The levy will collapse at any moment! Go back! Take him back! Take him back! No! Quickly! Someone! Get General Song out of here! No! Come on, quickly! It's too dangerous! Hurry up! Move quickly, soldiers! I'm not leaving! Hurry up, General Song! General Song, listen to me! Hold it! What is it, Lord Zhangsha? Listen to me! I've been investigating! This is a great flood, but it's slowly subsiding! We can escape the flood now, if we hold on for two more hours! Are you serious? Our top priority right now is to load those sand and stones on the wagons! Only in that way can the levy control the flood! Let's give it a try! Soldiers! Load the sand and stones on the wagons! Load them quickly now! Everyone, listen! Load the sand and stones on the wagons now! Come on! Quickly! Move! Come on! Hurry up this way! My lord, there's a secret message sent by the Empress Dowager. Got it. You may leave. Yes, my lord. Kill Count Su Yi? Oh. a short distance, yet they're already tired. If there is a war... Enough. There'll be more people at tomorrow's hunting. Make sure that the arrows are labeled clearly. They need to be able to identify those properly. Don't mess up. It could cause danger. Don't worry, my lord. My brother and I have checked it. Everything is in order. We'll inspect the woods in a while. <laughs> I haven't hunted in a while. I'm excited about tomorrow. It's annoying seeing the lords in the capital... All we can do is give these officials the runaround. It's better in Ningxuo. Just 20 more days. We'll go back to Ningxuo. To 
do it tomorrow? I still think it's a little hasty. Your Majesty, the Dowager has sent assassins in the woods half a month ago. Everything has been settled. She meant take advantage while Lord Yu Chang's unaware. If we delay this, the others will know, and we will have failed. But what if they get in a pinch? Your Majesty, don't worry. We are daredevil warriors. We will make or break. There's no way we are going to die. Your Majesty and the Dowager have nothing to worry about. Your Majesty, you only need to lead Lord Yu Chang where he can be alone at the right time, and then we'll take care of the rest. No matter how powerful Lord Yu Chang is, he won't be able to escape. I see. You may leave. Yes. Take a look over there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah.
Who do you think? We'll get the Silver Fox. I have no idea. I see. I think it's going to be His Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Go and get a physician! Take care of His Majesty. Yes! Catch the assassins! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! What happened to him? Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Physician! We, we need, need your physician. help out here! here so long. Over here! Your Majesty! 
<laughs> he needs help. All right, let me check him. Your Majesty, what is going on here? This blood is dark. It means the arrow's poisoned. Who could have done this? Oh, I don't know. Lord Yu Chang has been chasing the assassins. Lord His Majesty! Oh, Xiao? Xiao? Xiao Qi? It's Lord Yu Chang's arrow. He assassinated His Majesty. Your Majesty. This symbol represents the Empress Dowager. Lord Yu Chang assassinated the Emperor. All the soldiers, listen to my command! Split into two teams! One is to surround Nishuo army camp! The other is to follow me right now! Once we catch up to them, we'll kill them! Understood? Yes! Your Majesty, the wound is too deep. I can't draw the arrow here. We need to get back to camp! Let's go! Your let's Majesty! Go. Oh, hurry! Let's, let's go! go. Quickly. Let's go! Come on! Come on. Come on. Oh. Let's go hurry back up. to camp! Hurry up. No. 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 Clear the path! Come on! Come on. No. I think I was poisoned. Then let's go back for treatment. There is no time. Don't let them get away. But... We out. My lord, it's out of the paddock ahead. We don't know the situation. If the assassins are prepared, then they could ambush us. We cannot risk it. We out. Go back now. And ask for help. I can't do that. We out. I'm not leaving! You ask me to leave whenever you're in danger. Don't even think about it this time. My lord is also poisoned, so I must follow you. Xiaohuza! Yes! Go back for help! Yes! We must move. I'm sure they will ambush us, so be careful. Let's go! Lord Yu Chang, chase the assassins to the valley ahead! He was afraid there would be an ambush! He needs reinforcement! Careful.
careful. Lord Yu Zhang, it's been half a year. I missed you so much. No good piece of crap! Oh, Helen Jen! You're a dignified man. How can you oppress two little children? What kind of warrior are you? Come for me instead! Come and fight me if you're man enough! I'm not afraid of you! Helen Jen! If fighting my brother intimidates you, then come and fight me! If you lose, you will free the kids and come with us and plead guilty at the capital! Release the children. Run for your life. Run? Why would I run away? Is it for... assassinating the Emperor of Cheng? Don't act as if you don't know! Weren't you the one who sent me to the paddock to kill the Emperor? You kidnapped two children and ran away! Just confess what you did! Xiao Ji... Why can't you understand even at the end of your life? It wasn't me who valiantly assassinated the Emperor of Cheng. It was you, Lord Yu Zhang. What are you saying? Report! My lord! Oh! My lord, many Imperial Guards are coming for you! They said you're the one who assassinated the Emperor! My lord. Let's bid farewell to each other here. See you in your next life. Children! Please Uncle, release my sister! Uh, let go of us! Uncle, uh, save us! Let go of me! Xiao Qi, uh, it us. was never part of my plan to kill two children. I just want to take your life, nothing else. If this is your last wish, you have my word. I promise you that I will take them back to Hulan with me and raise them like my own. Just so you can rest in peace. Hey, his lord isn't back yet. The Imperial Guards have gone to chase the assassins, but the Ningxu army is left here. Tell me, 
What's the meaning of this, huh? <laughs> what? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Why is the horse acting like that? Well... Huh? Go! Hurry! <gasps> What are you doing here? Is this a rebellion? <laughs> rebellion? Lord Yu Chang is the rebel! All Ningxu soldiers, listen! Xiao Qi killed the Emperor! And committed treason! Now he has escaped! You better surrender soon, or else... You'll be sentenced to death! <sighs> Brothers! Imperial Guard said our Lord rebelled and ran away! Do you believe it? We, we don't! What is this? Are you loyal soldiers of Lord Yu Zhang or of Qing? This is an order from the Empress. I'd like to see who are against it. We will always follow our Lord and defend our homeland. We will never listen to an enemy and betray our Lord. Mishu soldiers will fight to protect Lord Yu Zhang! We will fight to protect Lord Yu Zhang! We will fight to protect Lord Yu Zhang! We will fight to protect Lord Yu Zhang! How dare you refuse to follow an order? Since that is your decision, do not blame me for being cruel. Regardless of your reputation, there's just around 500 of you. We completely outnumber you. You should be afraid of us. <laughs> Sister! <laughs> Surrender to us! We will take you in one piece! My brothers... This time... I might put your lives in danger. We will follow you anywhere! We will fight with you! We, we will, will fight, fight with you! you. We, we will, will follow you anywhere! anywhere. We, we will, will fight with you, my lord! My lord, we need to cure your poison first. I am fine. But... Listen, man! Who can take Lord Yu Chang's head will be rewarded with gold! Come and try to! Charge! Who army defends the traitor Xiao Qi? They are traitors too. <laughs> Kill them all! Break through the siege and save the Lord!
go. My lord! Save my sister! My lord! Save my sister! Hold on, your majesty. Hold him still. Go on. Your majesty, hold still. Your majesty, hold on. Your majesty, your majesty. Duke Wei, follow me. Come here. Duke Wei, I've been thinking about it, and there's just something wrong. If Lord Yu Zhang wanted to plot treason, of all the times, why now? The paddock hunting has gathered many ministers, and the soldiers deployed are Imperial Guards. Choosing this time right now isn't a wise move at all. And as we have seen to our surprise, it was the Emperor who suddenly wanted to compete with Lord Yu Zhang. And it was the Emperor who rushed into the woods alone. If Lord Yu Zhang had made an elaborate plan, did he anticipate all this? Secretary Gu, aren't you confused at all? Duke Wei, why did you say that? Because what you can reason can't be absolutely known by others around. So what is this? Whether the assassin is actually Lord Yu Zhang or not, this was the only chance to assassinate the Emperor. Since Xiao Qi was given the title of Lord, he constantly supported and protected people from the low class, and our noble families are getting weaker each day. What he tore down is the foundation of our noble class. That's why, whether he was really the one who assassinated the Emperor or not, this time, we must get rid of him completely. But the Emperor's dying. What should we do? It's Physician Jen. Where is Duke Wei? Where are Duke Wei and Secretary Gu? How's the Emperor's condition? <sighs> to be honest, the arrow has been removed successfully. Thank heavens we got it out. Do not worry. The Emperor's still alive. Oh. Duke Wei, right now you are the highest official here. Can you make a decision for him? Shouldn't we hurry back to the capital now? With the Emperor's condition, can we move him? Can we? Don't you understand? We have no other choice. Even Wat Ho is alive. The Emperor still stands a little chance. That arrow was close to his heart. Even if I use every medicine, he has just a couple of days left. That is why, if we don't hurry back to the capital, I'm afraid he won't. Lord Yu Zhang rebelled. He almost got the Emperor. Now he's close to death. I know all of you are flustered upon hearing this. Physician Zhang wants me to make a decision. So, prepare the carriage now and escort the Emperor back. Yes. If the message is leaked, the world would be in chaos. But even the Emperor... The Emperor... He should be in the capital. The Empress Dowager, the Empress, and the little prince are there. Before we leave, the Emperor should leave a note. Everyone, what do you think of it? Uh, it all depends on you, do you do anyway. Way. Good. Then all of you, get ready and prepare everything. Yes, you shall ride. Come on, ready. Come on. Hurry up. Let's go. Thank you for your service, Physician Cheng. Accompany the Emperor. And please make sure that the Emperor can make it. He must make it back to the palace alive. Yes, I'll try my best. <sighs> Hold on a little longer, your majesty.
Take care of yourself. Mother, sister, finally, I have avenged your death. She's alive! None of them would live! Finish them now! <laughs> Chen Jiang, you all leads the troops to fight with you in this battle! <laughs> Report, my lord! Our 500 men killed more than 2,000 Imperial Guards who came to destroy us! They lost! We defeated the Imperial Guards! My lord! We're here for your honor! Each army! We'll live and die together! 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 Madam Shu, let me take care of her. You take some rest now. Thank you, Aye. You know, Physician Shen is really good. Her Grace has suffered so much from the acupuncture treatment, but she can relax and sleep well at night now. That's great. I hope her Grace will get better soon. 
When we go back to Ningxua and she can give birth to many children, I'm sure we'll be so occupied. Aye. Her grace already suffered a lot. It was too much for her body to bear. How can you think she'll want many children after this? I hope her grace will be safe and sound, and I hope she gets what she wants. Mm. I'm leaving. Mm. Your Grace, does it hurt you so much? I'm fine. Then I'll just keep going with the treatment. All right. <sighs> Please tell me the truth. Could I get pregnant? Physician Shen said it's not a problem. Bearing a child should be easy for you. But when you give birth... That'll be fine. I truly admire your strength, Your Grace. You have hundreds of needles pierced on your body right now, and you're soaking in the medicine water bath. It must be stinging you a lot. It's just too painful to tell. Even men can't bear it. Those who experience this cannot withstand the pain. Bitter medicine. Cure sickness. I hope Physician Shen can help me. Then all this pain would be worth it. Your Grace, it's time to step out of the tub. Please step out now. Um, 
Are you sleepy? <gasps> Here. We should sleep now. Ni Chong. Madam Chang. I'll do it. What's wrong? All right. You may leave now. Yes. Want him dead and gone. We have to make them believe that his lord has died. Do you understand? <laughs> you fool. Look at your face. Who would dare to marry you in the future? Don't cry. It's worth it. Our 100 soldiers killed more than a thousand men. When we go to heaven, we can brag about it. You won't go to heaven yet. I'll take you to a physician. I'm sure you can still recover. Brother, we will go home. Don't fight it.
of you, sister. Empress, Empress. It's time for breakfast. Did you stay up watching him all night? Jinger had a tough night. He just fell asleep a while ago. Oh. I understand now how hard it is for you to take care of Jinger every day. I'm a fool. How can I be distracted by Wang Xin's words against you? I shouldn't have suspected you. Listen. Yes. It's my fault. Don't blame me. Empress. No, how could I blame you? The little prince is always like this. Don't worry, your grace. I know you're sick. At heart. You two know me so well. 
Nanny. Yes. Ask someone to get Princess Consort Yu Chung over here. <laughs> 